Hi, I'm here to introduce you to the Goose Fin. It's a tool you attach to your existing Goose Decoy's keel. Connecting it is two set screws with a little point on there to dig in the plastic keel. And we have uh, two aluminum locking nuts. This is, this is machined out of a solid piece of aluminum. Everything's aluminum here except for this pin which governs how far the fin could turn the decoy in a current of water, river, stream, preferably river. You take your existing goose decoy, you sit it flat, this is an inch and a half across, you tighten up the uh, pointed 1 8 Allen wrench you'll need to tighten that, once it hits, you just tighten it a little bit, that's all you should need, so the point can dig in the plastic. Make sure you get the other end. Once it hits, again, just dig it in there. Now, with this uh, locking nuts, you want to tighten them up by hand, and then just take a little 7 16 wrench or an 11 millimeter will work. You give it an eighth or a quarter turn. You don't have to make that too tight. You want to turn that clockwise to tighten it. That's how it'll sit in the water. Current will be coming this way. And the idea is, with the baffles on the actual fin part, it'll catch the current and alternately turn the goose, not at the same place every time. And sometimes it'll go way over, and sometimes it won't do anything at all. It'll be an alternating type of uh, in and out type of thing. Not the same way every time. To add action, to add action to the uh, goose decoy, you'd have to add a string with a uh, surgical surgical rubber right to the decoy. So you put that here. You clamp it, and now with the other clamp. You attach to the weighted line. So that would be your your whole rig right there. And it's it's durable. Like I said, it's made out of solid aluminum. So you can throw give it a good throw in the water and it'll stay attached to your decoy. We'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much.